zero intentions of doing what we just did today. And, uh, oh, hello? Yes, your Instagram wall has termites. So I was, I got in here and I was just like to help with this. I'm just gonna start stripping these walls. So I get all the way around the entire room to your Instagram spot and Boston's all, mom wants you to keep that. I'm like, oh freak, she does. So I left you a section on the wall. I, I left you a spot on the wall to take your pictures and uh, we'll get some. Well, I just got a phone call from Joel saying that he's tearing down my Instagram wall. Do you guys know what the Instagram wall is? In our new house, there's this really ugly wall. Someone said that it could be an Instagram wall. Either someone in the comments or Olivia. Someone was like, that's an Instagram wall. And so I've had this like vision in my mind that I want to get a picture in front of it. But what I wanted to do was get a picture of me like kind of glamorous in front of it and actually like edit the picture and make it look like a really pretty wall. <laughs> Just because I think that would be funny to like show the power of editing. But that's not going to happen because the wall has to come down ASAP. I'm going to get a before picture of me and the house. So no makeup, I'll just get like a picture in front of it just because it's like funny and it's like a joke between like you guys and us and anyway, so I'm gonna go get a before picture so that Joel can rip down the wall. So, okay. The house we're at, one of the fun things about this house is that it's right next to a Maverick. So the kids just walk over. What did you get from the store? Um, peaches. Do you have any more? Are they gone? Yeah. Oh. We, they were a whole bag. Of, they we, were... Dad, we walked up and ate them on our way back. Well, what if I send you on another time and you go get me some peach rings? We did get you this. Oh, oh good. I thought, I thought they were just handing me like $2 back. Okay. And here's this. Oh, you, you know what? You and Boston can split that. You get that and Boston can have that. How's that sound? Mm. All right, okay, we got some work to do before mom gets mad because it's Saturday and I shouldn't probably be working, but I got work to do. Lincoln, you got your seatbelt on? Yes? He nodded his head yes. Why is the coronavirus not letting us go to Aggie ice cream? Lincoln wants to know if we can go get ice cream, and I told him, I said, we can't go get Aggie ice cream because it's, the store is closed because of the coronavirus. And he wanted to know if we could go to Yogurt Land, and I said, no, Yogurt Land is also closed. We have ice cream at home that we can have, but I feel like I want to ration it. <laughs> Joel's dad has been here the last couple of days, and he's been Joel's cleanup guy and taking loads to the dump guy and I know Joel's really appreciated it and I think it's been really fun for him to have oh and his mom is here oh my gosh okay guys tell me this does not already look so different there's no wall here you used to walk in and there was a wall right here and then oh my gosh Joel I haven't seen the floor all the way up yet mm, the smell okay smell's still here smell's gonna be gone Eventually. I love that he saved that wall for me. I can't believe you're in here doing this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even want to be in here doing this. Wow, look at you kids. Boston in there. He's literally taking the wall down. Careful if you step over here, this board's. Oh, wow. Got some repair to do. Wow. You ready to take my Instagram picture? You want me to clear some debris? Yeah. Okay. It's all for the gram, people. It's all for the gram. Let me tell you why all of a sudden Joel was taking down my Instagram wall before I got the, sh the shot. It's because if you didn't watch yesterday's video, you won't know this. We actually had termites 
doing a lot of damage to the walls. Joel is just literally digging in, finding out the extent of the problem. Joel's parents are amazing. They wanted to come up. They wanted to come up and see with us, which I think is very fun and memorable for our kids. Did you just break through that wall? Is Boston about to break through that wall? <laughs> no, that's Lincoln! <laughs> that's Lincoln! Lincoln! <laughs> now you know to be really careful because you don't want something to fly and hit grandma, right? Okay, and you want to make sure you know where Lincoln is so Lincoln doesn't get hit. Did Cody do all that? Cody. Does dad know you're breaking into stuff that he hasn't told you to break into? Okay, then that's fine. Then that's fine. If he's going to take down the whole wall, that's fine. Health only goes about this high. <laughs> <laughs> and mine only goes about this high. <laughs> this is where you can see the termite damage. It's different than I thought it was going to look. So I'll show you what a normal wall should look like, and then you can see. Now this is a load-bearing beam that yeah. they got a hold of, right? This is a beam holding up the house, and this is the stud it's sitting on, and there's nothing left. This is the good side. So you're going to have to replace the beam. Uh, this is what it should look like. Solid two by four and beam. Wow. And this one's not even done right. There's actually supposed to be a king stud there. Wow. That's a big deal. If our load bearing walls are not as secure as they are supposed to be, like okay. that's a big deal. That's a big deal. And luckily we had a friend come by that I was dead set on doing it without him because I kind of got the go ahead and he came by and I thought, I'm just gonna have him come by anyway. And what a blessing. So our plan was to take out the entire kitchen and had we done that, the, the roof could have bowed in. Oh yeah, we could have collapsed this because the load's gonna transfer to here, which it's okay to, not in the condition the beam's in though, so. So normally if you take the cupboards off the wall and the weight shifts to your load-bearing wall, it's fine. Well, we're taking out a wall that's not load-bearing. Oh, oh, that's right, we were gonna take the wall down. But right now, that wall is considered load-bearing because this can't handle the load, and that's why this beam is still up in place, is because that's the, holding the load. And the whole roof will, could have sunken in, yeah, collapsed. Yeah, we some real damage, so. Anytime we do these projects, that is like in my prayers, legitimately, to like yeah. be led and guided on what's safe and what's not, because. It's not like we do this day in and day out. No. You know? And, I mean, we do have some knowledge, but at the end of the day, like, you gotta rely on some promptings to, to keep you where you're supposed to be. Yeah, and safe. And literally, we pray for safety every day, and that was a true answer to our prayers, so we're really grateful for that. Mm -hmm. You may now pick your hammers back up and start pounding walls. That's not what I was planning on doing today, but it really wasn't. So that's about where the kids ended up today. That's just what happens when things get carried away. I wanted to show you the rest of this room. We, Joel's parents really helped us get that cleaned up. It's exciting because you can visualize. We're not exactly sure yet. We haven't had the place drafted yet. But you can see if this is going to be the master bedroom, this bathroom is just not going to do. So if we extended that whole thing right here, that could possibly be a master bathroom. Anyway, it'd be more of a master bathroom than I have, so I wouldn't complain about that. Joel, you ready to go? Hey. Let's get out of here. Hey, for the parents, normally we gave you boxes of 
Girl Lucky Scout coat. Oh, oh. Or Girl Scout. Yeah. Coat. This year we got these <laughs> green ones. Those are really cute. We Whoa. have these for the kids that they can color. Grandma got. Then each one of the kids gets a pot of gold. Oh. Cute. That's so cute. Oh Did you guys gosh. do the chocolates in them? <laughs> oh my gosh. You need that one. Pull one of these out so you Did you know Grandma made those for you? Do they taste yummy? You're not even saving them. So we came over to Jeff, Joel's brother's house with Joel's parents. I think we're going to end the vlog by watching Lego Masters. We haven't seen it, but we've got a few Lego. We're, we're, we're Lego fans, okay? We're Lego fans, so that's how we're gonna end this vlog.